What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. You can see Cydia. Here it is. It's the old Cydia. It doesn't look very good right now on the iOS 7. It, in fact, it looks kind of just drab and broken. But the good news is, folks, Cydia has been updated. Yes, indeed. We're going to hit refresh right here, and you're going to see this update come in for Cydia installer. And it is beautiful. Trust me. Wait until you see this. This is ridiculously good looking. Um, so we're going to reload data here. And in a few seconds, we should see the Cydia installer. There it is, the essential upgrade. So we're going to ignore that essential upgrade temporarily. I'm going to show you each of these individual pieces one by one. There is Cydia installer and UI kit tools. And both of these packages are necessary to have the, the updated Cydia for iOS 7. And here is Sork's explanation uh, as to why things are as they are, as far as what the update requires, uh, what's included with the update, uh, what's not included with the update, and the fact that he's still working on getting everything looking exactly and working exactly like he wants it to, to be. So this is not the final update to Cydia, but it is a huge step in the right direction, folks. Once you see this, you will see what I'm talking about. It is a massive step in the right direction uh, to having our devices look good on iOS 7. Uh, so we're going to uh, queue that up and we're going to do the UI kit tools as well. And there's an explanation of what that does. Um, and you can read all that if you want to for some more of the minute details into what makes Cydia work and how it works. But we'll modify and do upgrade. So we got both of those queued up. Now we're going to go ahead and confirm those two downloads. And as you can see, the download isn't that big. I mean, it's not huge, but, um, you will notice that the Cydia does take a little while, at least for me, it took a while to get to this point where you can close Cydia and actually reveal this new outstanding looking UI. And there it is, folks, in all its glory, Cydia for iOS 7. You see at the bottom, you have those beautiful looking iOS 7 icons, the uh, buttons, and of course, the interface itself is mostly white. So it's uh, pretty uh, minimalistic, I guess you could say. And the look of the icons throughout Cydia, for the most part, not all of them have been touched yet, but the look of the icons, as you see there, the folders, there are the package icons there, and they look good. And just wait till you see the rest of these things. Surenix really showed out on these icons here. I really like it, especially like when you go back to, um, to your uh, manage section to look at all your, your sources and things like that. I'll show you that here in a second. Um, of course, screenshots, that's kind of ugly right there. But yeah, here's what I'm talking about right here. The uh, manage section, you see the packages, the sources, the storage, all those have their own icons. You can see all the different types of icons here in this list of installed packages, and they look very good. And you go to sources, not much there, but storage. Um, that's taking a while. Um, yeah, so not, not too much change there, but Overall, this is a much better and less broken looking version of Cydia. Now here's an up, up close macro look, if you will, of the, some of the buttons so you can kind of see up close. Uh, excuse the uh, choppiness of this. That's just the macro lens not doing a very good job. But as you can see, this is a very beautiful looking uh, update to iOS 7 Cydia. So, if you have City installed right now and you're jailbroken, head over to City right now, download the updated packages for City Installer and UI Kit Tools, and rejoice in the beautifulness that is Cydia for iOS 7. And hopefully they update the app icon to be flat as well. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.